population that thrived around the taboo Libyan Berber Saharans, Guan Scaramante, and the Yako with a major adidal, the Dijadidal, the Yound. Royals of the Jai group, with the falcon as their totem, ruled the Jaidam state. They engaged in activities such as herding goats, pottery, and trading, making Jado a prosperous kingdom. The Jado Plateau was a significant trading center on the Trans-Sahara routes, but it faced challenges during the Arab invasions of northern Africa in the centuries. This led to the population chose different directions with many migrating southwards along the Niger Bend, the Jado designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in, recognizing its cultural significance. Moving to the Wagadu Empire, founded by Mand, speaking Sun Inc. people between, C. it reached its peak around, C., Rich in gold production, farming, and salt trade taxes, the Wagadu Empire. The Empire faced a year war with the Almoravids. The conflict ended in the burning of the capital city, Kumbire. The Ekin refugees arrived in the Niger Bend Empire, dominating the indigenous groups. They absorbed them into their matrilineal system, engaging in activities like pottery, livestock, and trading. The Tebis, after a brief stay on the Niger Bend, migrated further south to Gavon, De Ganja, while the Gons, Jia Group, and Garamantes took different routes. The Gons established their Bono State Kingdom in later branching out to various settlement areas, including the Akwamu State and O State and Oso, although Alata collapsed in, Mantis de Sonic moved south and conquered the Bona and Akwamu States during the century. War refugees from the Ivory Coast settled in Gold Coast Territory, establishing new states, such as Akwamu Doma. The Ekin speaker's origins are a subject of discussion, with Dr. Joseph Boki Donkwa suggesting a Middle Eastern origin and a gradual south-western journey to the kingdom of Jado. The sensibility is in the Ansavon ethnicity and social identity of the first century Mediterranean society, which find expression in inter alia Hebrews, and the concept of ethnicity and social identity in the Ekin society of Ghana. It is therefore possible to read Hebrews' appeal to his readers entirely in terms of ethnicity and social identity. In addition, one should bear in mind the context in which the uh, the peculiar Jew-Jewish and in which the Asian believers had to be admonished to endure suffering in faithfulness to God and the Christian group. The Aiken speaking people, firmly rooted in the Niger Bend, cultivated a vibrant cultural tapestry that evolved in tandem with their matrilineal social structure. The decline of the once mighty Ghana Empire created a vacuum that the Aiken refugees opportunistically filled the Tebas solidating their dominance over the indigenous groups and establishing a stabilio pottery, pottery, pay. Niger Bend decided to journey even further southward to Gbon de Ganja. The Gons, the Gons, 
witnessed the success of the Ganja state and were inspired to forge their path, giving birth to the Bono state and Osu, Alada, each contributing to the intricate mosaic of a series of Akan history. The Jai group, in collaboration with remnants of Gons and Tebas, chose a southwestern trajectory and found a new home in the Ivory Coast. They found a union of uh, a new use. Collapse of the Ghana Kingdom in triggered the migration of displaced Sonink, the Mandes, who, known for their fierce prowess, conquered the Bona and Aquamu states in the century. The resultant wave of refugees settled in the Gold Coast, establishing states such as Aquamu, Doma, and Zima. The refugees from the Aquamu state, resilient and determined, went on to carve out their territories with Alma and Zizai emerging as distinct entities, into the Bono Kingdom, Bono Manso, ultimately founding states like Joban, Bikwe, Kumasi, and Kokofu. The eventual defeat of the nurturing Bono state in, by the Asante, Ashanti, State marked a significant turning point in the historical trajectory of the Ekin, speaking people. In the midst of these migrations and state formations, myths and legends like Isa, Dakta arose immortalizing the Middle Eastern arting nudity of the Akan people. Dado adds an additional layer of complexity to the historical narrative hinting at a broader and more interconnected Aiken heritage. This journey, spanning continents and centuries, is an integral part of the Aiken people's identity, influencing the diverse and dynamic cultural landscape they celebrate today. The Aiken speakers, having established themselves in the Niger Bend, began to flourish as they absorbed and dominated the indigenous groups developed a indigenous, the cultural fabric of their communities. As the Ghana Empire waned in power, the Ekin refugees strategically positioned themselves, solidifying their influence in the region. Meanwhile, the Tebas, who had briefly settled on the Niger Bend, undertook another migration further south to Gabon de Ganja. The Gans, jagged by the success story of the Ganja state, established their own Bono State Kingdom in. This marked the beginning of a wave of Akan settlement in the, in the Gold Cold Coast and the, in the, in the, in the founding states such as the Akwamu State, Zima State, and Osu, Alata. The Jai group alongside remnants of Gons and Tebas embarked on a southwestern journey, eventually settling in the Ivory Coast Territory. There they established the kingdoms of Bauna and Kumbu, the collapse of the Ghana Kingdom Inn prompted a group of displenic known as the Mans to move Sablin areas in the Gold Coast. Refugees from the Indian War raised in the, the Gold Cold Coast to establish their own states, including Aquamu, Doma, and Zima under the leadership of Anor Asaman B. Thank you for watching up to this point. Watch out for the next video in our series. Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture scarps trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the Pasmos and explore the mysterious ways of prehistoric Celtic times.
Guide, Guide.